Hello and welcome to On Point, Derby Draw Edition, live at Churchill Downs. And James, we're in front of all your losing tickets from Derby's past. Are you going to add to it this year, or do you have the winner? I think I have the winner, you know. I'm optimistic. So the post-draw, obviously, uh, you've been on Always Dreaming for a while. I've been on Classic Empire, and really neither one of us uh, any need to change that based on the draw. Yeah, I sort of wanted to see, like, you know, I didn't want to be in the, t in the inside three post, but post five was perfect. I think he's going to have a forwardly placed trip, and he can settle into a good position position early. Yeah, for me it's all about extremes. I mean, cutting hairs, splitting hairs between 4 and 5 or 16 and 17, I don't really think is necessary. And we've seen Orb and Animal Kingdom and American Pharaoh, plenty of outside horses. Inside, not as great, but you know, looking at Lee shouldn't compromise things from the rail. We know he's going to drop back. Yeah, and Corey Lane loves the rail, so you know that was a really good spot for him. I'm, a, you know, I'm a little bit, I'm still uncertain how the odds are going to shape out, though. Yeah, it was. Uh, you know, I made Classic Empire four to one, couple five to one second choices, including Always Dreaming, and then uh, Irish War Cry fourth choice, but then a clear gap. I think the next odds is fifteen to one. I definitely expect a little more. Yeah. Not quite that gap. I'm not seeing a four to one. I wouldn't no. be surprised if it's if, if Classic Empire or maybe even McCracken are five to one, and then you might have six, seven, or eight to one on the next ones. And there's going to be some twelve to one shots in there. There's just going to be so many horses taking money that. Most of the field to me is going to be like in that, like you know, ten to one to thirty to one range. Right, and even uh, you know, one and two, looking at Lucky and Thunder Snow, both twenty to one, which you know you sort of think a long shot, but really in the Derby, that's not a, a huge bomb. Uh, but fast and accurate, I would say he was accurate, in making him the longest choice. Yeah, exactly. And if you know, if he doesn't show speed to the inside of Always Dream, and Always Dream is going to send and maybe be on the rail. It, you know, they say they're sending. It's just a matter of whether he's quick enough to break running and outrun him into you know to the first turn. All right, and uh, I've already forgotten who's in the twenty. Um, <laughs> it didn't matter. That's how it little, did. That's and it, I'll tell you, looking at Lee getting the rail post, uh, it's patch. Oh, patch. Oh, yeah. yeah. Because of the jokes about he won't be able to see yeah. any other horse. So yeah. that, but Lee, looking at Lee getting the rail post, he was the one closer that it, the posts don't matter for close. I mean, inside posts don't matter for closer. He was the one that could take advantage of it. Corey Lannery, as Patagonia pointed out, loves to ride the rail. Yep, no doubt. All right. Well, I have uh, my pick in 14. Yours is in five. Uh, we'll actually have our final picks throughout the week online. We'll do another on point here at Churchill Oaks as well should be a great week any parting thoughts on the draw no I just didn't think anybody really got hurt too bad on it no yeah good draw and hopefully uh, good weather will move in for Saturday we'll hold our breath for that but uh, as for now it's been on point join us throughout the week at Churchill Downs